Hello guys, just a short video showing you how to convert this standard Chimera into this. You don't need plastic card for this conversion like a lot of people use. You've got plenty of bits within the box to cover up any gaps etc. You may need a little bit of green stuff at some point but it's just about knowing where to cut it, where the right cuts are and how to put it back together. So all I'm going to do here is place this here where it wants to go. The rivet line here is where I'm going to cut across. Use your rivets as a guide. And then I'm also going to put it back as normal and mark off this point so I know just before the second gun and in between these rivets is where I want to cut across to line up with this so the new hole placements in place it does look a little bit rough but I have a Dremel that I'll be using to just soften all that up and then with a good coating should be all right. These original gun holes, gun ports for the from the Chimera, you can either cover them up, you can put exhaust in them, you can put the guns in them, you could do whatever you want with them really. I've used the excess milliput that I used to fill in to make some sandbags and uh, the hull lid here is the original one off the turret because you do get a hole here for when you're using the basilisk, I think it's the same kind of kit. So I've put that on there and then I used the spare from an old Bane Blade kit for the turret. As you can see, this is uh, the closest thing I've got to a Chimera. It's um, a converted Chimera that I'm doing for Krieg. It's not painted yet, but that's the closest thing I've got in terms of what a Chimera looks like with a turret placement. And as you can see, with the turret further back, it already looks like it's taller, and it's not at all taller, it's exactly the same height, it just looks taller, it looks a, bit, a little bit more of a higher profile. I just think it looks all around better. And there's a million things you can do with this. As long as you know where to cut, and the whole placement and everything else, you can do anything. You can put the original guns on, the possibilities are endless. I also added these from the um, upgrade sprue just to give it a little bit extra. I put some stowage on. This will be a Praetorian tank. These guys' heads are from Victoria Miniatures. And I've put a cap on this from an old um, mortar. Just bits and bobs. And uh, I will uh, undercoat now and show you in a uniform colour. 